All right, I got my dev server on. I ran npm run dev, and we're going to be adding this uh, nav bar to our to our recipe site right here. I'm not logged in right now. I've got it open right here, and the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to create a folder called components, and this is where we'll put all our shared components. And the first shared component I'm going to create is a nav bar dot swelt. Let's go ahead and create that, and I'll have a link with really good documentation that you can just copy and paste all this in. So I'm going to copy and paste in this nav bar, which is basically a simpler version of this right here. We don't need the drop downs or anything like that. We're just using a simpler version. And you can't see it because we need to include it in. So that's pretty easy to do. We're going to go to routes, layouts, and we're going to want to include it here because this shows up on every page. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to say import nav bar from Oops, dot dot slash components nav bar. And let's include it in the top. So we'll just say nav bar like so. And we can see it here. And if we go to login, we can see it right here, which is great. And yeah. And you can just use regular href. So this is like an href, and this is an href. And you can read more about it right here, and I'll have a link in that documentation. So that's looking really good. The next thing we're going to want to do is handle the mobile version. So right now when I click on this, nothing happens. And what you want to do is you want to add something to the collapse. There's a prop called is open. So if we set that to true, which I'll do right now, you can see it opens. And then if we set it to false, you can see, oops, cancel that, it closes. So what we want to do is we want to create a variable so we'll say let is open, and we're going to default it to false. And then we'll paste this in right here. And when we paste it in, it does the short syntax. So if the pro variable name and the prop name are the same, you can just do this instead of set setting it equal. So it's a little shortcut. And then when we click on this, which is this little hamburger menu right here, we want to change uh, is open. So if is open is false, we want to change it to true. And if is open is true, we want to change it to false. So we'll do an on click. And we'll do that and that. And we'll say is open equals is open. And believe it or not, that's all we need. Let's see if that works. <laughs> so that does work. That's great. So the next thing we want to do is we want to display login. We want to display the login link if they're logged out, and we want to display the logout link if they're logged in. So let's do that. So I'm going to import my off store in the nav. And if you remember from our off store, which is in our stores folder, it has this is logged in property and Firebase controlled. And Firebase controlled means that Firebase has taken over. So we want to use that to determine whether we want to display any of these links. And if they are logged in, we want to show, like I said, we want to show the logout page. And if they're logged out, we want to show the logged in page. So it's hard to say, but it might be easier to see. So I'm going to paste that in. And notice we're using this dollar sign syntax. So I'll put that up for a second so you can take note of that. So if the fire, Firebase is controlling, show those nav links. If it's not logged in, show the login button, which we can see right here. If it's else, show the log out button. So I'm going to log in. We'll click the login with Google. I'll use my Glazer power. And hopefully we'll see the log out button, and we do. So that looks really great. So let's go back here. We also see it right here. We'll clean that up a little later. But we're making great progress. Next thing we want to do is we want to get that logout button working. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to import Firebase into our app. And then I'm going to create a function. And this will just be an async function that will control um, whether they're logged in or not. So it will control, it will basically log them out. Now, in a real production app, you want to wrap this in a try-catch, but because we're just doing this as a demo, I'm being lazy. 
Um, that way you can handle errors, but chances are there's not going to be any errors. So that'll log it out, and that we got we copied that directly from the index page or the home page where this logout button is. So now all we have to do is just hook an on click onto that, and we can say log out and save. And hopefully, when I click on this, I'll get logged out. So it looks like this is frozen up. Not a big deal. Whenever that happens, just go ahead and restart the server. It's super annoying, but just go ahead and do it. I think they're going to fix all these bugs, or they probably have fixed it. Okay, so let's see, log out, and that works. Great. So now we can log in, and let's go ahead and test this again. And we're logged in. So whenever we log in, we want and we don't want to we don't want the user to go to the login page we want them to get redirected back to the home page so let's go ahead and do that so we're going to change up the login page a little bit we're going to import um, a few things so let's go ahead to our login page let's import a few things okay <laughs> so first thing we're going to do is we're going to import go to so let me just copy this in because it'll be a little bit easier. So we're going to import our, the go to function, which is used for navigation. So you can programmatically navigate wherever you need to go. And the on destroy function, which will run when the component gets destroyed. Um, so it's a hook, basically. It'll make a little bit more sense when you see it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say authstore.subscribe. And this is going to be an async function. And we'll say info like so. And the reason it's got to be async is because go to is an await, uses await. So we'll say await, go to, and we'll just navigate to the home page. Oops, but we forgot our logic too. And it looks like we did something dumb. Oh, yeah. So it uh, did it wrong. So it imported off stores incorrectly. So let's go ahead and fix that. And that's always just going to navigate to our home page. So we need to wrap this in an if. So we need to say if info is logged in, go to the home page. So if the user is logged in, go to the home page. So now we should be able to use it. So that's a uh, some brain errors. So it just navigates us back in. But if we were to log out, it won't do that. Now there's one problem with this, and that is that we're not unsubscribing. So this function will return a unsubscribe function that we'll need to call to prevent memory links. So we'll say const sub, and you might want to use a better variable name than sub, if, especially if you have a lot of these, um, but you probably know that. So let's go ahead and pass in an anonymous function in here and we'll call sub and that'll basically unsubscribe from this that way you don't have a bunch of subscriptions and memory problems roaming around with this so now when we log in so let's go ahead and log in um, in theory when we log in we should be redirected back to the home page and we are which is great The last thing we need to do which is really easy we just need to get rid of this login button because it's log out button because it's redundant so we'll delete that we'll delete this and we'll delete that and that so a little bit of cleanup and let's see what we got ah where's this messing up hopefully it'll work we'll try a hard refresh and let me just restart the server again. Not a big deal. Shouldn't crash this much. Hopefully it doesn't for you. Okay, cool. So now that logout button's gone. Let's go ahead and test everything out. So we're going to log in. We're going to sign in. We're going to go there. I'm going to go back to the login page and it takes me back to the home page. 
So that's our recipe uh, navigation bar. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. I'm going to have, I have actually have really good documentation. I switched to uh, material themes. So what you need to copy is highlighted, which is great. But like I said, if you have any questions, feedback, comments, let me know. I will catch you in the next section where we'll be working on the edit page. So I'll see you then.